dear students uh, today we are starting with a new series of lectures and here in this series we are going to cover prolog an artificial intelligence programming language so prolog is programming in logic so in this first video today we are going to see how the software on which you are going to work today we are going to see how to install gnu prolog So now we are going to see how this GNU prolog can be installed and what are the steps to do so. Okay, so these are the installation steps that uh, we require to follow. First of all, either you can search on the Google and then you have to reach to this particular link that is gprolog.org and you have to find out the appropriate version as per your windows system configuration okay and then you can download that dot exe file okay so let us first uh, complete these steps so as i told you you have to reach to this particular website www.gprolog.org and you have to click on this download and again as for your system configuration you have to uh, Download the appropriate version. Okay, so if you click on this, it will download the setup for you and right? based on your system. Okay, and you have to just open this particular file, and the installation steps are very easy. So, as I have already installed this particular software, I am not going to install it. Okay, so I will be opening already installed software on my system. So when you open this GNU Prolog software, you are going to see this kind of console. Now let us try and uh, run one Prolog program. So this is one of the first uh, demo program that I have created, where we are going to store several facts in our Prolog programming file. Okay, so here we like to store several facts like the one is a male, Dhruv is a male, Dhruvisha is female. So these three facts that we are going to store in our GNU prolog file. And you have to save that particular file as book one.pl. So as in when you create any prolog program file, the extension of it, it is going to be dot pl file. Okay. And once you save that particular file, okay, so by choosing an appropriate directory, how to do oh, that particular thing, let me just show you. So, as I explained you earlier, I have created uh, one <coughs> file and the name of my file is book1.pl file, in which I have stored three packs that the world is male, true is male, and druisha is okay so now let us try to run this particular prolog program so what you are supposed to do you have to go to this whole prompt and here say for example the name of the file is pro one okay we will try to run this particular file now as you can see here here we are getting some error because we have not set up the directory in which our file is there we know that our file is in c drive gnu prolog and in directory so we have to set up this directory accordingly so we have to go to this c drive gnu prolog and this bin folder okay and now let us try to run the prolog so just uh, okay so in the square bracket we have to just type the name of the file and our program is done Okay. Now let us try to find out the several facts. Say for example, if you would like to check whether the world is male or not, this is the fact that you would like to check. Okay, So I am just running this particular code and here you, as you can see, we are getting the output, yes, the world is male. Okay. Again, the, another fact, let me check that female and I would like to check Croatia. Okay. And let us see what output we are getting. Yes, again, to be size female, because that particular fact is stored in our program. 
Now let us try to find out uh, who are the person, those who are male, and present as a fact in full of program. So, so male and this capital X. Now here you see there is an argument. I am passing capital X means now capital X will work as a variable. Okay, and variable will be assigned some values. Now here you see in our follow program, the execution start from this particular line. So male and male this predicate matches and double value will be assigned to this variable X. Now again if we are interested in finding that are there a, uh, is there any another male is stored in our database for that we have to just simply press semicolon and again here you see through is also male and that output we are getting on the screen. So in this video I have covered how to install GNU prolog and we completed running our very first program. Okay, so I am going to create such more uh, videos as well. So just follow those videos.